Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. I had a little bit of time this evening so I thought I'd just uh, put something out there. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, what we're going to do today is do a calculation training exercise. So we're going to test our ability to calculate accurately variations and I like this particular example that I've taken from a game between two friends because it's a fairly deep calculation. It's actually a mate in seven. But the tree of variations is quite narrow. And by that I mean that there aren't very many candidate moves in this uh, position and the resultant positions leading up to checkmate. So if you have the mindset that, well, I can't see more than, let's say, three moves deep, I think this position might help you to change your outlook on that and hopefully you'll be able to see um, all the way through a checkmate or at least you know four or five moves into the position and um, by solving exercises like this and testing our ability to, calculation, to calculate accurately will gradually improve so it's not so much important that you get this correct it, what's more important is the actual process and then the evaluation of your results after you've made the attempt to solve the problem. So in another video I'll do I'll do a piece about how you actually go about identifying candidate moves and kind of a step-by-step -step approach to to calculating with some tips and so on but for this one it's more just you know here's the position um, and the, the, here's your goal and let's see if you can do it and then I'll review the, the variations afterwards. So in this position White was a piece ahead and he should have steadied the ship by playing a move such as um, bishop to g2 or d4 because you'll notice that there are this complex of dark squares surrounding the uh, white king is is very much weakened and even though he's a piece up the king could be in grave danger unless um, he stifles black's potential counterplay but in the game the white player lost his sense of danger and played what turned out to be a terrible blunder that was knight takes e5 and unfortunately this allows a mate in seven. So your goal is just to pause the video now and to spend as much time as you need, maybe it's 10 or 20 minutes, and see if you can calculate the variations all the way through a checkmate. And um, if you get stuck halfway through, you know, don't despair. Um, sometimes just going back a couple of moves or trying to clarify the position of the pieces will help so if you get say four moves in and things are getting a little confusing just remind yourself say okay well where's my queen where's my knight where's his king and you know try to forget about the position that's you know currently on the board because that'll be a distraction and I'd like you to try to do this without moving the pieces because that's really the way it's going to be in an actual game. Okay, so please just go ahead then and pause the video. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, well, the first move, and I hope you found this, was Queen to H4, check. So this knight out here on e5 is now looking a little bit silly because it, it's it's taken away the defense of this h4 square and now um, black is able to exploit these weakened dark squares there's only one move for white in reply and that's king to e2 so if you were identifying candidate moves here you probably should have looked at queen to f2 check, knight to f4 check, and possibly knight to g3 check. 
So let's first look at knight to f4 check. After knight to f4 check, again there's only one move. So that's what I, why I was saying the, the tree of variations was deep but not very wide because often the, the reply by white is limited to only one or two, sometimes two moves. So king to f3, queen to f2 check is the f next forcing variation. Again, white is restricted to just one choice, so king to uh, g4, and now h5 check, so one of the black kingside pawns joins the attack, and we're driving the king towards our own territory. So it's it's really curtains, and in the game you probably wouldn't need to calculate all the way to mate. It's probably sufficient to know that you're driving the white king into danger, and sooner or later you're going to finish him off. But it's nice to be able to know for certain that it is going to be checkmate, and there aren't going to be any surprises on the way. So this is still a very valuable exercise. So here there are two choices for black, but one of them is fatal. So if we have king to g5, knight e6 is checkmate. So the other move is king to f5, which where he's stepping into the path of the queen, which isn't which he'd probably prefer not to do, but he doesn't have any choice. Um, now there's two ways for black to proceed. We have g6, and after g6 there are uh, uh, two choices for black, sorry, for white, king to f6, or king to g5. So let's look at king to g5. After king to g5, knight e6 is met. It's the same pattern that we saw before. And then after king to f6, we have knight to e6, and now the king can go to g7, or back to g5, and either way we're going to be at a checkmate the next move. So if king to g7, queen f6 mate, if king g5, then queen f4 mate. The other move, which is actually checkmates one move sooner, is knight e2 check, which is a, a beautiful example of discovered check. So the knight comes back, delivering check. If the king comes to g5, we can deliver mate with queen f6. And then the other move, which slightly prolongs the, the pain, is knight f3, blocking the check. Now queen takes f, f3, king g5, and queen f4, or a queen f6. So that was the the those were the fastest lines for checkmate. Oh, sorry, the second fastest. Actually, um, queen f2 check was the fastest route to victory, and I didn't actually see this until I checked on with the computer later. But so if you found queen f2 and decided that was the best solution, then you correct, uh, give yourself a pat on the back. So queen f2 check, king d3 is forced, now the queen swings into d4 check, white's also gonna only has one move, king to e2. If we come back to f2 with check, that's no good because the king is gonna ba go back to d3 and all we're doing is repeating moves. However, the knight can come in now to g3. Knight, so knight g3 check, king to f3, queen f2 check, the king can go to g4, h5 check. Notice how we have this recurring theme. Often the various strands of these uh, variations come together in different parts of the tree. Now king to h4, and knight e Knight to e4, discovered check is met because the knight is covering this g5 square. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this exercise and found it interesting um, and challenging. Uh, we'll definitely do some more stuff about the tools that will help you to be able to do this in the future. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye.